In November last year, the health workers at Entebbe Hospital revealed that their salaries and allowances were in areas. With the rapid increasing number of COVID-19 patients, the ministry hired the services of contract workers and volunteers to support their staff in the hospital. NTV has learned that away from the staff and contractors who receive a salary and risk allowances, volunteers are entitled to a risk allowance of 80,000 shillings per day. There are over 80 working alongside the staff. The nurses, the lab technician, the hygienist. But three of them who asked not to appear on camera said they were last paid in January. We stopped getting our payments. It was in January. Up to date, we have not yet got our payments. And moreover, we are working. We waited for over three months. But up to now, we've not received anything. This has been a game before, up to now. What does the hospital administration say when you inquire about your payments? They're just telling us to wait, to be calm, but we are saying things are not moving well. The issue of nanny payment comes at a time when the hospital has more than 100 patients, with many of them on oxygen. The health workers say unlike the normal procedure when one is required to be in the ward for one to two hours because of COVID-19, they spend between seven to eight hours on patient care. And remember they are all, most of them are on oxygen. So this time round, the number is too big for us. So you need like a nurse to work in a room for seven hours, which is a very bad thing and puts our life on risk. Entebbe Grade B Hospital Director Moses Mwanga said recently that the facility has a power to handle COVID-19 patients. We have engaged all other staffs from other services to, back, to, to, to be a backup to the staffs which have been handling COVID. But we are in discussion with the Minister of Health to add on additional staffs because, as you see, we have widened the services for managing COVID. We need more staffs. We call upon volunteers, people who are willing to join, to come and support because it's the beginning and let's pray that the situation does not get out of hand. The issue of non payment and overworking has attracted the attention of NTV leaders. Yesterday I was walking around, I met one of the workers, the, the nurse in Grady B Hospital and she told me her problem that since NTV, NTV Grady B Hospital has been uh, made now a regional referral hospital, we were made to do to reapply for the position we are having in the Great B Hospital. And for that matter, we did the interviews. When we did the interviews, and then they said 17 of us were referred back to Wachiso, and yet we still need more here. And that's the confusion. Come on, Ivan Walunyolo, NTV, in NTV.